Hi there, my fellow Taffers, and welcome to my let's play of Thief 2 The Metal Age. Of course, after finishing the very first Thief game as a let's play of mine, I was quite eager uh, to, to play and let's play the second part of the Thief series, um, mostly because I heard so many great things about this game. But um, let's start with some general facts about this game, alright? Thief 2 was published in the year 2000 by Looking Glass Studios and Idols Interactive and I think those are the very same guys from the first game. It is of course the successor to Thief the Dark Project Gold which you can see on my channel as a let's play and it is just like the very first part of the Thief series all about being stealthy and being sneaky and we will probably be playing the same protagonist as in Thief 1 uh, namely Garrett the Master Thief. And other than that, I know nothing about this game, but the title, The Metal Age, and the intro that we just saw kind of suggest that we will be facing robots. So that might get interesting. Um, yeah, that's that's it. That's all I know about this game. Um, since it was published in 2000, of course, a lot of time has elapsed, and um, there were quite some, a lot uh, of fan-made mods that are available to the average player like me um, but I decided against playing any of those because this is the very first time that I'm actually playing this game so this will be a complete blind playthrough I won't be playing any mods I won't be using any hints or advice from the internet other than uh, you guys posting anything beneath these videos and um, to make up for that, I will be trying to play this game on hard, on hard difficulty and do all the objectives for hard difficulty. And if I fail to do so, which will probably be right in the first mission, I will be lowering all the expectations and um, be um, continuing the game on easy or normal. So um, that's my plan. So let's start right into it, won't we? Uh, let's click on new game and we will be playing on hard. So, um, yeah, this upcoming cutscene I have never seen before. Let's enjoy it. I've always equated feelings with getting caught. They both get in the way of my money. Unfortunately, not everyone is as committed to their work as I am. An old associate of mine, Basso the Boxman, wants to marry Lady Rumford's chambermaid, Genevieve, and live happily ever after. Guess prison life spoiled his taste for thievery. Too bad for Basso that Lady Rumford has other plans. Marriage would void Genevieve's indentured service contract. So Rumford is keeping her confined in the estate with the rest of her worldly possessions. Basso has asked for my assistance on getting her out, since infiltration is my specialty. I make it a policy never to take a job so sentimental, but the Rumford Manor could be a lucrative opportunity for a man like me. It would also mean that Basso would owe me a favor, and in this line of work you can never have too many of those. I'll sneak in after dark, and clear a path for Basso, so he can rescue his damsel in distress. Along the way, I'll pick up a few souvenirs for the local pawn shops. That should make all this aggravation worthwhile. Otherwise, I'll make Basso wish he was still rotting in Crag's cleft. This proves it. Going legit is more trouble than it's worth. Ooh, very nice. I. So instead of, instead of stealing something, we have to kidnap something, uh, someone, an, an actual person. That's interesting. Alright, 
So Basso is of course a reference to the first Thief game where we had to rescue him from the Krexklaff pr prison on one of the harder difficulties at least. And um, this time again we are playing on hard so our objectives are once you're ready for Basso to go give the signal using the bird call he gave you. Alright so we should have that. You have to be close enough for him to hear it. Okay. Help Basso and Genevieve, uh, which is the girl that Basso is in love with, the, the maid, the chambermaid. Get out of the mansion together. You'll need to scout ahead to make sure Basso's route is safe. Okay, I can do that. Luckily, Basso didn't say anything about not taking Lady Ralford's stuff. Get 300 in loot. That's not much for some lady in her mansion. That's not much. Geneva would be a guest if anybody... Yeah, alright, don't kill anyone. The usual stuff on higher difficulties in any thief game. So, let's be about it. I sprung the lock on the side door for you, Garrett. It's the only good way in. Alright. So, Basso will be staying in here, I suppose, waiting. And this is the mansion of Lady... Uh, <laughs> I already forgot her name. And as you can see, uh, Thief 2 is a little bit different from Thief 1. First of all, I'm moving much slower now um, when I'm pressing the forward button. I can run fast by pressing this button, but I won't be doing so unless I will be actually fleeing from someone. So this should make sneaking a bit easier. Second of all, this game is a lot darker than the first Thief game, so... Um, I already set it on... I can actually show you. There. Already set it on really, really high. So I can see something. But when I'm recording with fraps, the outcome is really, really dark for some reason. I don't know. That didn't happen in the first Thief game. So um, since YouTube also make th makes things a lot darker, I'm very curious about the outcome of this video. So please tell me if this is too dark for you, or uh, whether this works or not. Alright, uh, that's all. We can't get through there. I suppose this is the side door that Basser just mentioned. He said he would have the key still sticking here. Can't see it, but I guess it's there. But first, before we get in there, I want to have a look at the map. That's always a good idea. Notes. All right. This is this is a cover page. That's nice. So he already drew the route for us. That's nice. All right. We will be getting in here through the butler's quarters. Under butler. Electrics. Maybe we can turn off the electrics and the whole mansion. That would probably be nice. Uh, can't read this. Oh, guards. Guards. All right. Workshops, steam plant, storeroom, might be something to get there. In the kitchen, definitely, there's always something in the kitchen. Storeroom again, and more guards. Alright, guards here, and guards here. We have the servants' quarters, well away from the butler's quarters. And Garrett, Jenny's door will be locked, but don't worry, I can handle that, Basso. Alright, and this is plumbing and housekeeper, and this leads upwards, so let's check out the next level, there we go, we would be getting up here, or are there stairs here as well, oh yeah, I can go up here as well, alright, uh, a water closet I suppose, bath, music room, definitely something in there, the great hall, should stay away from that, Dining room. Whatever this is. No idea. And the parlor. I don't know what a parlor is, but it sounds fancy. Uh, this. These are the wings. I suppose. I don't know what they. Never mind. Closet. Bedroom, 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 bedroom. Alright. There's definitely stuff to be got. Uh, but our actual objective is to just clear this path through here so that Basso can follow us 
uh, get Jennifer and then we'll get out of there. That is our whole plan, but since we still have this objective to get 300, we will be checking out the entire place. I don't know if that is something. That is that is nothing. Okay. Good thing the butler's out for the night. He left his lights on. Why well, we already got a bit of loot? How do I Oh there's the bird call. It's a flute. Actually. Alright, let's check if my quick save button works. It does. Nice. Butler's not here. That's good to know. These are his quarters. Can't do anything with these. There's a door and there's a door. I have to use the map once more. And this time uh, my position is not indicated by a blue area but rather by a bright yellow area. So we went in here. Should now be in front of this door. I will be going through the other door first and try to get to electrics. You know, turn off the lights. What is that? Noise. 